Hi. Uh, in this video, I will talk about customizing code. Uh, it's a long topic. I will uh, split some videos. Uh, I don't want to uh, create long videos for this series. So let's start. First of all, of course, uh, in Dynamics 365, use extensions. You sh you you must use. Uh, there is no not another way. But sometimes uh, uh, I see some duplication codes. So don't duplicate uh, the standard object. Use extension. It's uh, easier to is uh, e easier to uh, upgrade, and uh, it's uh, sometimes you know it, it has lots of. Uh, it's a little bit difficult to create extension, I know, but uh, uh, it uh, it makes easy to uh, it makes your life easy to in future. So use extension and every time uh, create small methods and uh, uh, singleton is very important uh, object oriented uh, feature. So. Uh, you, your methods should do one job and uh, do it correctly and uh, uh, it must be reusable. So create small methods and reusable methods. Uh, cl clear your code. So if there is a dead code, uh, clear it your, uh, your methods, your classes. S uh, if it's necessary, uh, input some commands, but don't input everything as a command. It's also not a good uh, solution and it affects uh, re, uh, your uh, code's re re readability. Uh, so if you want to create uh, a clean code, uh, you need to uh, input uh, only necessary commands. Uh, also, where to add uh, Custom code is also a very important subject in X++. Uh, so uh, create code for reuse as much as possible, but create it at, at the lowest appropriate location. Uh, for example, if uh, something required only in a form, of course, you need to write this code in form. But if it's required for all uh, for uh, table uh, which use uh, were used every form so then you need to put this code in of course the table la la layer uh, for example if it's related to user interface uh, place uh, code of course in uh, UI user interface elements uh, or you can create uh, a class to handle uh, forms user interface. It's the best practice, of course. Uh, if it's related to uh, table and table shames, uh, then placed in the uh, tables. Uh, if it's related to business processes, the code must be in classes. Uh, so it's uh, basically uh, if you have uh, something Related to user interface, you uh, you can put uh, codes to forms, but it's related to business process. It needs to be in classes. If it's related to directly related to tables, then you can place this code in tables, of course. Uh, uh, create reusable uh, methods as I said, and used uh, framework me methods. If, uh, if he, uh, there is a find method, for example, in cast table, we have find methods. Don't write a select for uh, your uh, cast account ID. Use find method. It's best practice to use uh, these framework methods uh, other than uh, writing a query for that. So, uh, be familiar with uh, your standard applications capability and use it. Uh, okay, for this video, it's enough. 
I will continue uh, with coding standards and I will show you some good use examples and bad use examples. I hope it's helping. Happy Daxing.